that is a good oh, fish. That's oh, that's a my nice God. fish. Oh, 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 I that big guy. I cast her that oh. big guy. No, he's good. He's good. That thing full of drag, buddy, or what? Look at, look at the size look of those fish. fish. Look at them on that on the Wow, screen. and they're shallow, too. Those are good quality walleye, oh, man. Oh, my God, this is a great fish. That's a better hit. Yeah, that's a way better hit. This is a weird setup we got going on here, folks. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Yozuri Fishing Lures, fish the best. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Fishing Canada Show. Now, if you've been following us this season, you've probably watched our episode from the Kenora area on Lake of the Woods. That Kenora trip was the first of a two-location shoot. Our second leg of the trip is today, and it's a long time coming. Now, long time coming may seem like a bit of a stretch for those of you who've been following our show, as the wooden boats and giant walleye of Isnagi Lake have certainly appeared on your screens many times over the years. However, as anyone who has ever been to this destination will tell you, six years is far too long to be away from Lodge 88. This trip started with a plane ride from one of our favorite operators in Ontario, White River Air. The timeliness and quality of experience you get with White River Air will have you wishing that they take over our national airline. Trust me on that one. But Lodge 88 isn't just about the fly-in. This lodge gets its name thanks to the fact that the train, AKA the Bud Car, frequently lets anglers and hunters off at mile marker 88, right next to this historic destination. Ange and I have taken advantage of this unique way to travel into the Canadian wilderness and highly recommend it to anyone who has not had a chance to experience it. Seeing Northern Ontario from the air may be cool, but a card game with your fishing buddies while traveling through the virtually untouched wilderness is tough to beat. However, this trip is not about plane rides or card games. This episode is about gorgeous Northern Ontario walleye, and we're confident we're gonna find them. The Snoggy Lake is situated in the Algoma region of Ontario. It's a large V-shaped lake, about 45 kilometers long and five kilometers wide. The primary inflows are the Magpie River at the north end of the lake, and Tripoli Creek on the west side. And the primary outflow is also the Magpie River, which flows downstream from the south end of the lake. Isnagi is a typical Algoma walleye lake in that it's not a super deep shield lake that's normally associated with lake trout. It's a mid-depth lake with lots of soundings in the 20 to 30 foot range, perfect for walleye. Some of the deepest water in the lake is located directly out in front of Lodge 88. These depths hold an incredible amount of whitefish for anybody that wants a change from walleye fishing. Pete and I are starting out looking at a couple of bays not too far from the lodge. If we can avoid running all the way to the far end of the lake, well, at least on the first morning, that would be perfect. I guarantee you though, we'll end up traversing the 20 plus miles looking for walleye oasis before this trip is over. Trust me, it's hard to resist. He's pulling good, but I don't even really know what I did to get that fish, to be honest with you. <laughs> Just to let everybody know, we're just found some fish and we're live scoping them. And they're like they're turning their nose up at live bait even. That's gotta be a good fish. Yeah, it is. Got the net handy, buddy? Oh, that is a good oh, fish. That's oh my a god. Nice fish. I was sleeping on the job on Yeah, that I one. don't know what you were doing there, buddy. Well, you didn't give me any warning. All of a sudden, oh, that's a nice fish. <laughs> that's a big one. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Beautiful. These are nice job. This is a weird setup we got going on here, yeah, folks. No There's kid. bait around. And they're, uh, I don't know, I don't even know what to say, Ants, in that one. That was so <laughs> freaky. <laughs> nice walleye. Beautiful they're gorgeous, walleye. Eh? That is just a nice mm, fish. Mm, 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 mm. Like. And on this lake, that is not a giant. I lost one, then Az lost two. I got a jig, he's got a drop shot. I lost, he lost two, and we're watching them on the live scope. And literally, you're seeing them all over the place, but we're working the ones that are right under the boat, right under the transducer. And I had three of them working on me, and they got a jigging minnow on here. So, and they're still not taking it. Put it above their head, they're coming up and looking at it down like that. And I dropped it to the bottom. I know I dropped it to the bottom, 
and then I just did a couple of pops, pop, pops like that. It's morning right now. As the day goes on, they'll probably get tougher. So we better take advantage as much as we can right now. That was so cool watching that. That was exciting, man. That's a nice one. Yeah. That was so neat watching that. Man, oh man. You know, technology today has taken this fishing to a whole different level. Oh, yeah. It, it just has changed it completely. I'm, I'm hoping and I'm thinking for the better, although there, there are some thoughts out there that that's not necessarily the case because we do a lot more catching nowadays than we do fishing because we're watching it on the screen. And we're not fishing until we see the fish. And then when we see the fish, we're dropping it down in front of them. So there's a lot more catching going on, but man, I'll tell you, it is just fantastic. It has changed the game completely, completely. That thing full drag, buddy, or what? Look at, look at the size look of those fish. Look at them on that, on that wow, screen. Wow, they're shallow, too. Those are good quality walleye, man. Oh my God, these are great fish. Now, although things are looking positive as per our catches so far, walleye are a bit of a funny creature. We figured out quickly that they have a bit of an attitude today. What I mean by that is, Ange and I can usually tell right off the hop what kind of mood the fish are in at any given time. These walleye are slightly off, meaning they're not crushing our baits. They're still eating, but it's not gangbusters. We can tell that by the way they're mouthing the bait versus aggressively popping it. And as well, we can see their attitude clearly on our live scope. With that said, we're going to keep looking for fish that are a bit more active. It's funny how sometimes you can return to a fishing hotspot and it's full of fish, yet other times they've completely disappeared. Well, often it has to do with the weather conditions. No sooner did we arrive at this area of the lake did the rain start coming down. Not enough to stop shooting, but after a quick couple of fish, we had to take cover. When the rain happened and you get a fish out, oh, I'm pulling it. Look out. He's in the weeds, too. There's He's not that big. Just now. He's not that big. No? I don't think so. I think he was in the weeds. Oh, he's nice. Oh, it's a nice walleye, oh, yeah. It's a nice walleye. A rain, nice rainy day walleye. Nice. Jumper. That is a fighter, eh? Little rain walleye. <laughs> rainy day walleye. <laughs> Gandhi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that thing pulled drag, buddy, or what? Look at look at the size look of those fish. Look at them on that on the wow, screen. Wow, they're shallow too. I gotta pause that. Put a waypoint right there. Yes. And as I'm fighting this fish. Nice. That's got to be a good fish. I, I heard the drag go. I think so. It's a bait <laughs> caster, right? Yeah, I'm exactly. Grab the net, bud. I'll be ready, don't you worry. Those are good quality walleye, man. Oh my man. God, these are great fish. This little good rainstorm coming walleye. in has just turned them on, probably. But there's a bunch right there. Yeah. It was on a big plastic. On plastic? Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> big old fluke. Yes. Beautiful walleye. Nice. Man, he hit that just so nicely. See you, Nice, buddy. we can get our toys out. As Ange stated at the top of the show, we didn't want to make the 20 plus mile run to the opposite end of the lake right out of the gate. We wanted a close to the lodge start today. He also said it was likely though, at some time, we'd head north. Well, it's hard to resist when you're lodged at 88. It's pretty much a must. The boat ride alone is spectacular and the fishing is usually well worth the time it takes to get there. Plus, there's great fishing locations all the way. As we arrived, we pulled in on a big point and granite high bank classic Northern Ontario scenery. He missed the first time? He missed the first time, he came back the second time. He was persistent. I don't think he's got a whole lot of size to him, but... Oh, maybe, oh, hey, maybe oh, a good one. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe a good one. It's got that nice boom, boom, you know what I mean? Yep. Oh, that might be a good fish. Oh, he's a better fish. Yeah, it's all right. He's a better fish. You know, he's not a giant, but he's better than these little guys we've been getting. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. He came back a second time on me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Out of the question to get yourself 50 of these a day and then throw in four or five really big walleye, but 50 of those a day oh, in any lake. It's a fun day. Fantastic. Good sign, two on a worm, that might mean something. Well, at least if we run out of minnows, we're good. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. He hit very aggressively for a worm. Usually they just suck it. This guy went, yeah. it's a nice whatever it is. Yeah, it's a good fish. Decent one. Yeah, that's a nice walleye. Nice. Oops. Nice. Yeah. Good one. Ooh. Good one. Oh, he's he jumping out like a bass. <laughs> nice, buddy. On a giant worm. Easy, mama. Look at that. Well, that time I gave him that big worm, that's where it's hooked. Wow. Nice. Okay. Good. Getting there. You run a worm not, pattern. Still not an snoggy leg special, but no, it's, uh, no. But keeps you going there. for the. Tell you what, you get a boatload of those in a day and set you up for that <laughs> yeah. big one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might have that there. big guy. I cast for that oh. big guy. Oh, he's good. He's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice walleye. That's a better hit. Yeah, that's a way better hit. On our way back to the lodge, our Garmin screen went crazy lighting up with a gorgeous cabbage weed bed. We found the weed edge, dropped the live scope in, and it lit up with multiple fish. Definitely worth casting it. I got one, too. Oh, 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 I might have that big guy. I cast for that oh, big guy. Oh, no, he's good. He's good. Oh, God. I told, I told you that was a pike, Ange. Yeah. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw, the problem is it's on a, dry, a drop shot. Yeah. Oh, you know, boy. you know he's gonna break. I'm gonna up. break up. Well, I can't. You know what? Nice and easy. Sometimes you get lucky. I can't help you right now. No, buddy. I'm gonna get mine in first. Mine's a Walter. There we go. Nice. Good one. Yeah, he's nice. decent. Nice fish. He's decent. Beauty. That's nice when you can just come onto a it's spot. It's a pike. I see him. Is it a pike? Yeah. I knew it. I can see a little live scope. That's awesome. Come onto a spot and say, yep, they're down there. Drop your line and boom. This guy's got a bit of a bump on him. Cool. Off you go, baby. I got the net for you. He's just probably a netable. Yep. He's a nice size. Like just a perfect a snuggy pike. That is so cool. What was Let's... perfect though? Just coming off plane, putting the scope down. And boom. Seeing, seeing walleye under the boat, and I said, Dan, that's a pike you over there. Pike. Oh, it's a nice pike, it's buddy. Nice pike. Oh, my God, that's yeah. beautiful. If <laughs> you could get that in. Did you even get him in the net? Or uh, did you think hand land him? Oh, I can get him in the net. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Oh, turn your There head. you go, buddy, buddy. That's a good one. That's a big fish. Oh. <laughs> gonna... That's a big pike. That's I huge. can't believe it. That's huge. There you go. Look at that, folks. Nice. We scoped that, him, baby buddy. He's sliming we all over you. We scoped him good. We said, there's a pike on the scope. But I threw in a stupid minnow on a drop shot to it. That is amazing. <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. A drop shot of all things. I didn't even want to throw a drop shot at him, but. Bye bye. <laughs> It's a little better while I pee. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eh, it's all right. He's an eater. He's a little, that's an eater for sure. For sure. It is so much fun when you can look down on this uh, screen and just sort of almost pick them off. In that case, there was four of them just sort of hovering underneath the boat. And uh, Pete said, yep, yep, they're looking at you because I had dropped my, my bait down and boom. That is so much fun. And the best part is, if you can see behind me, that is Lodge 88, the legendary Lodge 88 right there. Good one, bud. Oh, yeah, I think so, bud. I 
think so. I'm, I'm, I mean, <laughs> at this stage, we're not at this sure. Stage, we're not sure. Just watch your line there, Angie. You might be going India. I can't see a thing with that sun. That sun is bright. He's already nice. past Straight you. On. Into you or close to you? Talk to me. Hey. Talk to me. Um, he's better than those little bee uh, eaters we're getting, I'd say. But I can't. I haven't seen him. I haven't got a good feel of him yet. But he's fighting really nice. I mean, he's not. He's not an orca. But I think he's a good one. Yeah, for sure. This one's not worthy. Oh yeah. I see him down there. I'm pretty sure I saw a walleye. Oh yeah, yep. nice. Yep. Nice walleye. Good looking fish. Deep. Bring him in, buddy. <laughs> nice. We got him. Good stuff. Woo <laughs> look at that. And look in the background. If you can see through the fish or through the net, what's in the background? <laughs> Lodge, Lodge 88. 88. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting them even closer than the first time we were here. Yeah. Nice. That's the best part about this place. That's a good fish. Very nice fish. Nice thing about this fish. Thank you. Thank you. Let go. Flares. Okay. Let's, you know, let's see what length. Huge, buddy. Let's see he's what length. He's 22. We're talking. I'm gonna say he's a 22. 22. Something like that. Where is your? Right there somewhere. Yeah, 21. And like Ange says, look at that, right there, in front of the camp. <laughs> you can drive to the, you can drive half an hour, three quarters of an hour to the end of the lake, but you can also go right here and get them. Why, nice. why we're laughing is because some days when we come here, we run all the way to the north end of the lake, which is a good oh. hour, 15 minutes with these boats. And we highly recommend it because it's a beautiful drive and there's lots of fish up there. But uh, you always end your day close to the lodge because look what happens right there. I mean, that's not a giant, but we've got some giants here. So nice. Yeah, nice. That is great. This hot spot is what we call taking the easy way out in the world of lodge fishing. The waypoint on your screen will get you right there. Now, the reason we call it the easy way out is that it's about 100 yards directly in front of Lodge 88. We thought the hot spot from our very first visit to Lodge 88 was close to camp. However, this one's even closer. And as a bonus, it's also one of the best whitefish hotspots on the lake. You can use any of your favorite live bait techniques here. If you want to troll, then a long walleye-specific crankbait like Yozuri's Crystal Minnow Deep Walleye just may pull out a hog or two. This is a great after-dinner, close-to-camp fishing area. For more hotspots like this one, check out fishingcanada.com. Perfect. Now he's off. Off? Oh, that's a better hit. Yeah, that's a way better hit. I think I still eat fish. So to end this trip, Pete and I decided to take a few hours off and let Nikki V and Dean Taylor, our two up-and-comers, take the cameraman for a quick evening fish at the spot we just came from. It's about 200 yards from the lodge, an area that's near and dear to our hearts. We put them right onto a nice school of late in the day and hopefully active walleye. They've been bugging the heck out of us to get out there and film. So have at her, boys. Perfect. Now he's off. Off? Oh. Got him. Nice. Whoa, oh. hello, little feller. And he's gone. He is gone. The drop shot hooks have been hard for that. The drop shot hooks have been very hard. Small. Even, you know, I set that with passion. And uh, just they just let go. It's not setting in deep enough. I got a little one. I think it's smaller than your last one. Oh! Might be a record for us. <laughs> that is a record for the two of us for sure. Now, I've seen Pete catch slightly smaller, so they do get a little smaller well, than that. You know, Pete was actually telling us a story last night. He's caught a walleye minnow. He's caught a walleye minnow that was maybe that big. Yeah, said. I think that was at uh, Pine Portage. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, uh, tiny. I've never seen one that small. 
He didn't think they could get that small. That's how you stock them. Oh, for sure. For sure. Oh. We'll get back down there. That's not the that's nope. not the biggest. Time to go. Yep. That's a better hit. Yeah, that's a way better hit. Oh, and <laughs> wow. Oh, to be fair, it is better than the last one. You know what? I think it might be his brother. Yeah. Or his uh, belated cousin, twice removed. And I just, that's a real clean hook. I got him right in. Oh, hello. Just get ahead of the cheek plates there. That's what normally gets you. Yep. Oh, got him good. Pretty fish, though. Very pretty fish. Very pretty specimen. <laughs> Love the color on him. OK. Get her back. Bye-bye. Ripped, oh, ripped his head off. Look but... at that. Looks like he digested it. Huh. Yeah. They're little and quick. They don't look little, though. Like They, are, they got to be. Look, though. Look at that. Like That's how big the 27 looked on the neck. Oh, I, I understand what you're saying, but I don't think those 27s are eating. I think there's just a bunch of little guys hovering around them, and they're eating the scraps. And this would be scraps, and the big guys are probably just eating the little guys. I think I stole your fish. That's a good eater, actually. That's not a bad fish at all. I think that should be yours. We just switched that, rods. That counts as yours. We just switched rods because this reel's on the wrong hand, and within seconds of Dean touching it, a little walleye. Sometimes that's all it takes, man. Just need I got the Dean the touch. touch. Yeah. You know, there's a Midas touch. Yeah. That's the Dean touch. I like that. Getting there. Brought to you by the Outdoor Journal Radio Podcast Network. To get to today's unique and gorgeous fishing destination. We first drove north on Highway 400, which eventually turns into Highway 69. We next turned west on Trans-Canada Highway 17. At the town of White River, we turned north on Highway 631, traveled approximately six kilometers, and then turned left on Tuckany Road. From there, it's about one mile into the White River Air Base. After loading the plane, it's about a 20-minute flight to the beautiful Lodge 88. An alternative mode of transportation is to take the Via Rail Canada train from Sudbury to mile marker 88 on the railway. You will then be greeted by camp boats and escorted to Lodge 88. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Prince Craft Boats, the spirit of boating, Garmin, plot your paradise, reel them in, and Ontario Canada, in partnership with Destination Ontario. Closed captioning for this episode is brought to you by FishingCanada.com, the gateway to your next fishing adventure. Come on.